Good afternoon! Are you looking for an alternative colored Christmas card? How about a fun fold too? I have you covered today for this edition of Let's Create. You want to take a peek? I'm not going to show you the card, but I'm going to show you the colors because, you know, I am a stinker like that, you guys. So here are, I've got Blackberry Bliss, Fresh Freesia, and yes, some Parakeet Party, you guys. Ooh, I bet you're curious on what we're going to make today. I bet. You want to peek? I bet you do. I bet you do. Okay. So I want to talk a minute, though, about this amazing die cut set, you guys. If you are one that loves to use die cuts and construct your card with all die cuts, this is the card that you are going to want to try. Now, it doesn't have to be a fun fold. It could be just a regular fold as well. But I think that you're really going to like this one. And what I want to do with this one, though, is I want to share with you a few little tidbits about the die cuts. Because I looked at some of them and I'm like, what the heck is that? All right, so let's take a look. I want to talk about die cuts. Obviously, that's a tree. These are the lollipops, which I am actually using as another tree. Now, there are doors and windows. I'm sorry, doors and windows. You have two windows and a door. Now, the doors and windows here, but you can also use this as a door on top of this. I did not do that for my card, um, but this can also be put in here as windows, but when I use this as a spooky house, um, I think I did it on this one. No, nope, I didn't. Um, when I use this as a spooky house, I did this stamping in crushed curry so that it looked like there was lights on. Or if you die cut this out, just put yellow, yellow paper behind it. Obviously, that is pretty self-explanatory as a fence. These little pieces here and here are our gumdrops, you guys. Those are gumdrops for our gingerbread house. This is our little smokestack. Our little gingerbread additional pieces that you can stamp on here. This has a die cut right here, and we're going to actually be using that today. And then the other one, this crazy piece right here. When when you look at this piece, I struggled trying to figure out what it was. And you guys, check this out. It's our cobblestones to our house door. How cute is that? Now you can use these pieces. These are the cobblestones that get punched out by this die. However... However, I chose, when I did this card, I'm doing this as a peekaboo piece on here. So you'll see the fresh freesia cobblestones instead. All right, now this piece here is snow. Creating your little snow hill. Now, I did not go to the end you could use this as a background, curve it again. So put this piece on here and curve it again. I would probably do it like that and then do 
a straight cut with my scissors. Hey, Anita! So happy you could join me today, honey, um, to do a double and then put some dimensionals behind this part and then you could glue that on. A little wink of Stella because, you know, fresh fallen snow, which, by the way, we were getting some snow here. That always has a little bit of glisten, so I thought that would be a cool option. I am doing something different. But are you ready to see the card that we're going to do today, Anita? I am so excited about it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What are you thinking of this color option here, sweetie? I need some stamps because we're going to do some stamping. I love that Have a Sweet Christmas fits in my house. And then... The from our house to yours is going to go on the inside over here. And then I need my trees because that's going to go on the inside. I need that, my little wreath. And then the little lollipop trees. The little lollipop trees right there. All right, so I did not do the wreath. And the lollipop trees, I need two of those because I wanted to show you some options. All right, so stamping, die cutting. Okay, just getting things out of the way so we can stay organized because, you know, distractions everywhere today, you guys. That snow, love the color? Oh, good. The snow today is a really big distraction for me. I'm ready for some snow. I'm not ready for crazy snow, but I'm ready for some snow. Oh, I'm so glad you love the color. All right, so parakeet party. This is our inside piece. And no, it's not full size because we're doing a fun fold. There's one tree. And our second tree. And I'm going to do an extra tree from my original over here. And then... I don't want to close that because I'm going to grab my block here and we're going to do, oh yeah, <sighs> distractions. Oh my gosh, Anita, um, let me help you decide. Wait till you see the card. All right, so I've got one little, um, one little, um, sucker tree, popsicle tree, candy tree, however you want to call it. And then we're going to do this as a die cut there. And no, don't worry, I'm going to color the berries. And I'm going to use my Blackberry Bliss Stampin' Right marker. You got to grab it, I forgot. Stampin' Bright Markers, Blackberry Bliss. Here we go. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fine tip end here and I'm going to color over the green. Now you could put embellishments there. However, um, they were a little big. All right. So there's the stamping for the die cutting that we need to do. Let's finish up our stamping though. So we need, I'm going to take this one off, put that over there so that we can do both of our sentiments. Have a sweet Christmas is going on the house itself. And it's going down on the bottom part of the house kind of reminded me about you know how you have those they have those um projectors that you can project on the house that's kind of what I was thinking when I put that there and then the from our home to yours on the inside there and that's all the stamping no more stamping 
Now we're going to do our die cutting though. We're going to die cut these three last pieces and I should be able to do it in one pass if I organized it properly. Brand new cutters almost. So exciting. I'm using my mini cut and emboss and do 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 if you're worried about things staying put i have been using low tack tape and i love low tack tape um i was able to get my hands on a it comes like in a roll like tape like regular tape tape. Do, do, do. There we go. So close. I don't know why my hands are shaking today. Maybe too much coffee? Is that possible? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> Okay, so here's our little, oh my goodness, look at that. Isn't that cute? Oh, that definitely needs some Wink Stella. And then here's our little trees for all of our last of our pieces. I love how easy it is, you guys, to cut this stuff out. It lines up so nicely. Oh my goodness. Okay, so not that, and that, I'm putting my dies back together. Sorry about that, okay. But we're gonna need our paper trimmer for this one, for our fun fold. And I am so excited about this. That, we're going to move all that out of the way and we're going to take our paper trimmer and you guys we have a piece that's five and a half by eight and a half and it's going to sit over here at I wrote it down because I didn't want to mess it up at three and a quarter now you're going to want to watch the numbers here on your slider because you want to go from seven and a half all the way up to three and a quarter seven and a half to three and a quarter and then you're going to flip it this way and the next scores that i'm going to do i'm going to score below and we want to do one inch and two inches and five and a quarter inches and then we're going to go back because we're going to do up top at four and a quarter like this so we're doing a side step fold now when you're folding this you want to go here and here, so mountain and valley, and then this and this should fold all on its own exactly the way that it's supposed to. Anita, have you ever done this type of a fold before? There we go. So again, mountain, valley, mountain, mountains, okay? There's that, and then our little blackberry bliss piece is going to fit right there and I gotta just just a little bit there we go because here's how our cards gonna end up I love the pops of color all right now let's talk about the snow piece I am going to trim with my snips. I'm going to make, I'm going to take our snow piece here, just like that. 
So that's ready to go. Now, now we have all of our pieces, because there's our trees, and then this fits right on the inside just like that. Oh, you have not made any. Oh, Anita, you need to try it. It's so cool. So this is our background piece, and you guys, I am got so many other things on dimensionals that this I'm putting on with glue. And you're going to want to be careful because you don't want glue oozing out of your cobblestones. And we're going to put this on just like this. Just like that. And then we're going to take this big piece. And I know that it's too big for the front. But what I want to do is I want it to kind of go over on my Blackberry piece and I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to cut this off. Try to be straight. If you're worried about not being straight, mark it with a pencil and use your trimmer. And then this, I want that little fresh freezer reveal because I want it to line up with my where my house is going to go. This bottom part is going to get glued. I think this was one of my first fun folds that I ever learned because this one's pretty easy. So I highly recommend. I'm going to put that dimensional here because I don't want it to. And then I'll put, I'm going to put another one here. I'm putting the dimensionals on this part because I don't want it to get stuck on the back. So I'm trying to be smart. Not smarty pants. That's, that's me too, but I'm trying to be smart about placement. And if you don't push these down too far, you should, if you need to, be able to move them a little bit like I need to move that one. So this one here, I'm taking my take your pick tool and I'm putting that there. And my glue on the bottom should stick because then I've got places there to put my trees in. We're going to do our little roof. And I did take my mini dimensionals and cut pieces. Nothing happened, nothing broke, just one of the stamps fell over. So we're going to put that one there, and we're going to put this little strip here, and then I want one more strip for the top. So that the roof looks like it stands out. All right, here we go. I hope that you try it, Anita, because you're going to love it. Just like that. So there's our little house. And this is going to get, seeing as I already have these out and I have lots, we're going to put this up, the house up on dimensionals. here just like that and then our little house is going to go right above our last little cobblestone just like that and then one of these I think we're going to end up doing lollipop trees on each side so we're going to put dimensionals on the lollipop parts 
And then I'm going to do a little dab of glue on the bottom. So did I give you enough courage to try it? It is actually pretty easy. I hope so. So we'll put one lollipop tree here and the other one on the other side. And it, you guys, it really all depends on like this one here. I was able to shimmy the house over this way more so I could do the two lollipops on this side. You guys, it really does just depend on how you place your cobblestones. And, Anita, did you see that there's a big sale today on stuff from the annual catalog? Oh, I think I'm putting in an order today. All I'm doing with my scrap piece is I'm scraping off some glue with scrap corners. So there's that. Now, this other snowdrift is not going to waste. We will be using that, and I'm going to do the same thing that I did on this. I'm going to put dimensionals at the top, and I'm going to put glue down at the bottom. Oh, yes. Working on Christmas cards and presents. I get it. I totally get it. So there we go. Now this piece, you guys, I'm going to line up down here on the inside piece. All the way on the edge here. So that we have snow drifts on both here and here. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love this card. All right, and then we're going to take our tree. We're going to put one here, one over here, and I think we're going to tuck one about here. And the tree placement is super easy. It's wherever it fits. So I think that actually, I think I'm going to adjust my tree placement because I've got lollipops on both sides. And I think that that makes a difference. So I think we're going to put this tree, tucking it in, and put it there. And I want that looking like it's coming out of the snow. And then... I think we'll do this one. I do like it down. I did like it down here. So we're going to do that one there. And this one I'm going to do with glue. Down here in the corner. And then this one. I'm going to do a little bit of glue down on the end. The end that I'm going to stick in the snow down there. Whoops, I don't like where that one sits. Kind of just finagle it. There we go. So, because I want to be, when the card is closed, I want to be able to see all three of the Christmas trees. And I think I'm going to end up moving this one over a little bit. Shouldn't have put it down all the way. Oh, but look at that. I can shimmy that over. Good. Do, do, do. That goes there. There we go. That way then we can see all three trees. Now this little wreath. Didn't do the wreath on the first one. 
this is an afterthought because I thought that it would be fun to put it up here on the house. Do you see the difference? I think the house needed something. And I think that this little wreath is the perfect wreath for the house. And I'm going to put it on with one mini dimensional because it fits right there where the holly and berries are. And then we're going to put that down here. <laughs> yeah, up there. And then last but not least, oh, nope. I got more. I got more. You know, I always forget to flip up my embellishment, you guys. Look at, you would think that I only have that much. But look at all those embellishments under there. I'm going to do the little rhinestones. Whoops. Little rhinestones on all of the trees. Maybe. There we go. There we go. We could even do them in the middle of the lollipops. That would be cute. Make them look like little lanterns, I guess. Like that. And then the last thing is this needs to go in the inside. Okay. I love a good gingerbread house, you guys. A true gingerbread house. But I especially love a fresh freesia gingerbread house. Oh my gosh. How fun. All right. So. As always, if you have any questions or you need any help, let me know. Let me know. Oh my gosh, I am loving. Whoops, wrong end. Loving the blackberry berries. Okay. Different, but the same. And I'm thinking that it would be fun to, and it's not too hard, you guys. There is a lot of die cutting here. So I get when people say that you, this is a card that you want to send to somebody who's going to appreciate it, <laughs> right? Because there's a lot of die cuts on there. But I don't know about you, but oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh, we didn't do Wink of Stella. Do a little wink of Stella on our edge of our snow. Doo dee doo. Doo dee doo. Just like this. Because, you know, it just snowed. There we go. All right. So if you guys have any questions about anything that you saw here today, do go ahead and put it in the comments or you can email me direct um if you need any help with the um and the seasonal sale which includes annual catalog items only um but if you need any assistance with that email me because i will check my email right before i go to bed so that make sure that nobody misses out that sale goes until the 18th and I have a link on my Facebook page, but I will post a, um, all the information that I used for this card will be posted in a little bit, like I always do. And, but most of all, you guys, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed today's card. And if you really enjoyed today's card, then share it with someone because sharing is caring. Have a great day getting crafty, you guys, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video and to find out about the